This is Max Verstappen, sat in the corner of an empty room surrounded by four computer screens, a fridge full of Red Bull, and a sign that says, F*** off. He was taking part in the 24 hours of Le Mans, virtual. That means not real, but they take it very seriously. There's a $250,000 prize for the winner. It costs 2,000 euros just to enter, and you have to be invited to enter. Oh yeah, it's not open to Commonwealth pigs like you and me. In fact, most of the contenders are real-life racing drivers, like Max Verstappen, Roman Grosjean, Felipe Drogovic, Red Bull, Mercedes, Alpine, Ferrari, Porsche. They've all got their own esports teams. It's the biggest esports event of the year, and it went completely to shit. Tits up, arse over elbow, shaft before tip, like imagine Indianapolis 2005, plus Spa 1998, plus Ferrari strategy, plus Jos Verstappen's pit stop at the 1994 German Grand Prix, with a sprinkle of Michael Massey and a side dish of Mohammed's banter at the prize giving ceremony. That's how much it went tits up. Here's what happened. Max Verstappen lined up fourth on the grid. This is him in the team redline car behind the two Porsches on the front row. Then the race gets started and Verstappen fucks it down the inside into the first corner, takes the lead of the race and everybody settles in for what was supposed to be 24 hours of intense competition. Didn't work out like that. And the reason it didn't work out like that is because of technology. Is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Oh Almost immediately, drivers were getting disconnected from the server. If you don't know what that means, getting disconnected from the server is nerd speak for computer says no. Computer says no. Cars were getting randomly thrown out of the race, and then the time it took for them to reconnect to the server put them two laps down, essentially ruining their entire race. What happened just a few minutes ago is a moment of stress here. Yeah, unfortunately, for some reason, we got disconnected. Uh, so it set us back two laps, which is never nice in the first hour of a 24-hour race. Computer says no. So, in a way, it's a bit like being a Ferrari driver. You're in the middle of a race, everything's going fine, you start to think you might be on for a decent result, and then through an almost unbelievable level of incompetence, your race is destroyed beyond repair. That's what it's like getting disconnected from the server. And then there were the glitches. If you don't know what that means, a glitch is nerd speak for computer says no. Computer says no. This happened to several cars, including Max Verstappen, who had a glitch going through the chicane, causing him to spin while he was leading the race. Let's take a look at Max's spin in the second of our chicanes. Okay, yeah, so that's a glitch as well, isn't it? You can it? see he had a little bit of a screen freeze there. Yeah. Uh, and then as it's come back, we'll see it's very clearly from on board. Bang gets held, and as soon as it does it, it, it kind of computer says no. So the drivers were getting randomly thrown out of the race, and the game was more glitchy than Stephen Hawking going down a water slide. But then things got even worse because four hours into the race, everybody got disconnected from the server at the same time. Is it a disconnection it... potentially? Is this him in the pit lane? No, we've got a few of the LMP. P's in there. That's quite a lot of LMPs. There is there. a lot of LMPs. That's a Brabham. Oh, I think we might have had a touch of a problem there because we're not going back to any uh, on screen uh, action in the race. Uh, the whole thing just switched off. A bit like Stephen Hawking going down a water slide. Just put him in a bag of rice, he'll be fine. So the virtual red flag came out and everybody sat and waited for this virtual hell to be over. Eventually, after over an hour, the race restarted and this time everything ran smoothly for 25 minutes. Then everybody was disconnected from the server again, causing another virtual red flag. Yeah, the SF car, if you're uh, you know, Sid Marinello, you're like, perfect. Oh, as I think we might have had another another technical. We'll take a look at the highlights though, uh, rolling back to the start of the race. Well, as you can see, the red flags are back out. So technical issues once more with the platform, it seems, and the cars will be restarted. Now, again, when we 
basically control all delete everything Lewis and go right back to scratch what race control did before and what they will try and do now and what they've done where there have been mass disconnects when we had six or seven cars disconnected earlier on is they will give them back as much possible time Jesus. that they have lost so for instance no. Now, apparently, the reason why this kept happening is because of something called a DDoS attack. If you don't know what that means, a DDoS attack is nerd speak for some twats thought it would be funny to flood the server with traffic, causing it to crash or overload or melt. I don't know. I'm not a nerd. I am a professional sports journalist. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because some people genuinely believe this is a real sport. Probably because they've never been outside and they've got a vitamin D deficiency. And the reason why some twats were able to perform these DDoS attacks is because some of the drivers accidentally leaked the IP address of the server on their live stream. If you don't know what that means, IP address is nerd speak for I literally have no idea and I want to kill myself. So after the second red flag, the race restarted once again. And for the next nine hours, everything ran pretty smoothly. There were some decent battles up and down the field between the virtual LMP1 cars and the virtual GT cars. There were a few spins, but nothing serious. And with 7 hours and 14 minutes left on the clock, Max Verstappen was in the lead of the race. Miles out in front and on course to win the virtual 24 hours of Le Mans. But then... Technology. That's the red line one in the garage. Right, now the reason that is in the garage is they have had a disconnect as well and they have only just been into the pits. Wow. So that is the race leader, Max Verstappen. So that's a disconnect uh, for red line. Max Verstappen was disconnected from the server, and by the time he rejoined the race, he went from first position all the way down to 17th, and almost two laps behind the field. He spent the next few hours climbing back through the field. He managed to get back up to 13th, and with six hours left on the clock, maybe it wasn't completely over for Max Verstappen. But then, technology. Oh, there's the red line one. Look, Max oh, Verstappen no. in the pit lane again, unfortunately. They've been suffering connection issues with that car. And it seems to be that Max Verstappen is uh, struggling uh, with that car again. It was the issue that dropped them away from the lead of the race. And it uh, really is moving them completely out of contention now, unfortunately. <laughs> As you can imagine, Verstappen didn't take that too well. After the second time he was disconnected, he quits the race, retires from the competition, and goes on a rant, slagging off the whole event and the organisers. They call it, uh, it's amazingly bad luck. Well, this is just incompetence. Because what's the point? You prepare for five months to try and win this championship. You're leading the championship. You're trying to win this race, which you prepare for two months. They handle it like this. I mean, there have been two red flags. They blame it on, I don't even know what, people DDoSing the server. Then uh, they, re they, they cancel the rain because probably that's already a big influence. And then people are still getting disconnected. And now, of, of course, at one point also, we were hit by it. And then they're just not dealing with it. Honestly, it's a joke. It's not even, you cannot call this a, an event, a, a clown show. That's why it's better to re retire the car because I really hope the organizers also they consider when they put this um, race forward because on this platform it's it's not going to work. I think I'm going to uninstall the game, raise up a bit of space on the PC anyway, and I really hope everyone in uninstalls the game. I really hope everyone uninstalls the game. Oh, he's made you look like a correct bunch of swaps there. 
So the biggest esports event of the year was ruined by technical difficulties. Max Verstappen threw a hissy fit like a 12-year-old girl. The reputation of R Factor 2 was destroyed, and it made the whole sim racing community look like a bunch of tits. But the best thing to come out of all of this was the reaction from Team LH. Oh yes, it's been a while since we checked in on the lunatics, because obviously they found a way to make this all about them. Poor baby, now think about what it must feel like to have the race director break the rules to gift an F1 championship to your rival. A ruined race he spent months preparing for, kinda like Michael Massey breaking F1's rules in real time to gift the title to Max and steal the championship and sport in fairness away from Lewis Hamilton. Just like Hamilton had been preparing for a season of F1 in 2021 to win the championship, but I guess manipulation is justified if it prevents him from getting one more than Schumacher. How ironic, I think we would have seen what a real hissy fit looked like, blah 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 hashtag human error champion i thought it was mickey mouse world champion no it was mickey mouse world champion then human error champion then cost capen i forgot about the new one max verstappen got ejected from a computer game because of tech issues and reacted like he'd been robbed of an f1 world championship due to never before seen race manipulation and the confirmation of openly declared white supremacist strategy the level of mental illness from Team LH is actually impressive. Abu Dhabi 2021 was over a year ago. The list of things that have happened since Abu Dhabi 2021 include an entire season of Formula One. We had two Christmases, three prime ministers, and they were all shit. The Queen died. Russia invaded Ukraine. George Russell crashed the crypto market. Nikita Mazepin became a DJ. Michael Massey assassinated the Japanese Prime Minister. Johnny Depp took Amber Heard to court for taking a big shit on the mattress. Denzel Washington slapped Barack Obama at the Oscars. Kanye West invaded Poland. Elon Musk invaded Twitter. And these two fat slobs got married at Binley Mega Chippy. All of those things happened since Abu Dhabi 2021. Move on! For Christ! And for the purposes of balance, all the Verstappen shaggers that were defending Max for throwing a hissy fit like a 12 year old girl, saying, Ah, oh, but he spent five months preparing for it. Did he? Did he? Yeah, well then, doesn't he feel a bit silly now? Life lesson. Sometimes you try really hard to achieve something, and through no fault of your own, it gets ripped away. Life isn't fair. Grow up. Take a pill. Start drinking in the daytime. Put your wife's head through a cabinet. Do something productive. Don't spend the rest of your life screaming on Twitter about a race that was a thousand years ago, you stupid c- I am calm. The, the point is, the 24 hours of Le Mans, virtual, was ruined by technical difficulties. Max Verstappen threw a hissy fit because he literally has nothing else in his life other than competition. Team LH threw a hissy fit because they are criminally insane. Michael Massey assassinated the Japanese Prime Minister. The Queen is dead. And I don't care if she took a jobby on the mattress. I'd still shag her. Take a pill. Grow up. And goodbye. Computer says...